So this should be a really interesting video, guys, and one that I wanted to do for a while now. Over the years, I've noticed there to be a bit of a performance increase when using Linux over Windows for Blender. So much so that I decided it needs its own dedicated video now to see just what kind of speed increase you can get using Linux over Windows. So I've put together a huge variety of benchmarks for Blender, varying from physics benchmarks to simulation benchmarks to EV benchmarks to just real-time performance benchmarks in Blender. Comparing the two operating systems, just the operating systems, identical hardware on both. For the hardware that I'm benchmarking this on, I am using the Intel i9-9900K, as that's still the fastest single-core processor. That's paired with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM. And then we have that paired with the NVIDIA Titan RTX graphics card, pretty much the fastest graphics card that you can get for benchmarking most of these tests in Blender right now. I'm also using a super fast NVMe SSD drive for both operating systems, so there should be no bottlenecks in the hardware or hard drives. So the performance here is going to be purely the difference between the operating system. And if I didn't mention it yet, of course, all these benchmarks are being processed on Blender 2.8, and then I have the latest version of Windows 10 and the latest drivers for Windows 10 on top of that. And then for my Linux operating system, I'm using Ubuntu. This is version 19.04 at the time, again, with the latest NVIDIA drivers available to me, which I think were 418, something like that. And then for my testing process, when I couldn't rely on Blender calculating the time taken, I would use a stopwatch on my phone to calculate just how long a process like simulating or physics took to calculate in Blender. And I would run this benchmark three times and take the average number between those three passes. So I would get a very accurate result. So after a day of tirelessly doing nothing but benchmarking, we have the results and we're gonna see exactly the difference between these two operating systems. Starting off, we did just a basic firing up Blender and how long it took to launch. On Windows, this happens, as you might have guessed, very fast in 1.7 seconds, but over on Linux, this happens extremely fast in just 0.6 seconds, so more than twice as fast as Windows, but again, it's not exactly taking a long time on either operating system. But that got me curious, so for my next benchmark, I wanted to test opening a large Blender file on both operating systems. For this one, I used the Barbershop demo file. You guys can download all of these demo files in the description below if you guys want to test your own hardware. So opening up the large Barbershop scene Blender file on Windows took 8.1 seconds, while on Linux this only took 3.7 seconds. So again, more than twice as fast launching large Blender projects on Linux. So once we had this large file open, I was curious how long it would take to get to a rendered preview in cycles on both operating systems. So just clicking the rendered view in cycles for the viewport took 32 seconds on Windows and only 24 seconds on Linux. So this is really interesting. This is mainly like the initializing and calculating of BVH. And this happens a lot faster on Linux. It took 32 seconds on Windows and only 24 seconds on on Linux. So while we're talking viewport performance, of course I wanted to benchmark how fast EV was in both of these operating systems. So for this benchmark, I used the tree creature scene available in the demo files, and I did a real-time playback rendering an EV on both operating systems. My viewport performance speed on Windows was 3 FPS, and my viewport performance speed in Linux was 4.7 FPS. So that's 44% faster for free without doing anything but changing your operating system, and it costs you nothing. It's kind of like getting a huge computer upgrade for free. So it really makes a ton of sense so far to be using Linux over Windows, but let's continue. So then I just did a rendering test on frame 900 in this benchmark, and it happened in 1.9 seconds on Windows and 1.4 seconds on Linux. So about the same speed increase, just rendering that much faster on Linux. Next, I was on to simulation. So I put together a few different simulation benchmark files, again, available in the description below, guys, if you want to benchmark your own PC hardware. So on Windows, my smoke simulation finished an average of 40 seconds, and on Linux, this was finishing in an average of 31 seconds. And then for my physics benchmark, this took 70 seconds on average to process on the Windows operating system. And on Linux, this happened in 56 seconds. So again, a decent increase. You guys might be seeing a pattern at this point. But this is where things got really crazy. Moving on to the fluid simulation benchmark. In Windows, this took two minutes and seven seconds to complete. But on Linux, this only took one minute and eight seconds to complete. So something about the Fluid Simulator and Blender works a lot faster on Linux than on Windows. I don't know exactly why, but it's more efficient for sure 
on Linux. And then for my next benchmark, it was actually a highly requested benchmark over on Twitter. This was a sculpting benchmark, seeing what the viewport performance in Blender was when you're working with a large vertice count. So I have a monkey head here that has been subdivided a lot and done some sculpting on, and the vertice count in the scene is just over 2 million vertices. So a lot of vertices, and a lot of you guys know that Blender starts to lag when you get a lot of vertices in a scene. So on Windows, I was getting just 2.5 FPS playback as I was moving around in the scene with over 2 million vertices in it. While over on Linux, doing the exact same benchmark, I was getting 4 FPS in the same scene as everything was happening. So again, almost twice as fast viewport performance on Linux over Windows. This is incredible for working in high-res models if you're doing some detailed sculpts. That extra 1.5 FPS when you're talking only 2.5 FPS over on Windows is huge, and that's gonna make a big difference for a lot of you guys. But now it's on to some rendering benchmarks, both CPU and GPU rendering benchmarks. So the first benchmark we have here is the Spring Benchmark. This is the most recent demo file from the new open film Spring. So starting off with the CPU benchmarks, rendering on the i9-9900K, the Spring splash screen took 14 minutes and five seconds on Windows, and over on Linux, this rendered in just 11 minutes. So about 25% faster on Linux, rendering with the CPU. Then the next CPU benchmark we have here is the Splashy Cat, Splash, Splashy, Fuzzy, the Kitty Cat benchmark. And this one rendered in four minutes and 18 seconds over on Windows, and on Linux it rendered in three minutes and 40 seconds. And then for the last CPU benchmark, it was the most classic benchmark of all time, the BMW scene demo file, available to download again in the description if you guys want to benchmark yourself. And this one took two minutes and 37 seconds to render on Windows, and just two minutes and 22 seconds over on Linux. So that wraps up the CPU benchmarks, then it was on to rendering with the Titan RTX on both both Windows and Linux to see if there's any difference when rendering with the GPU. And the Spring Benchmark file rendered on Windows in 4 minutes and 56 seconds, whereas on Linux this rendered in just 3 minutes and 28 seconds. So a lot faster. So this had me kind of wondering, why is it rendering so much faster on Windows and Linux? And there's some things that I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. But for one, I benchmarked just the first process of the rendering phase. And that's, again, the initializing, building the BVH, and all those calculations before you even see something start rendering on your computer screen. And calculating the BVH on Windows took 2 minutes and 7 seconds, whereas on Linux, this process only happened in 37 seconds. Now, this process, I know, is somewhat CPU-driven, even when you're rendering with the GPU. But regardless, calculating the BVH is well over three times faster on Linux than Windows. I don't know if this is a Blender bug or just the fact that Linux is way more optimized than Windows. Windows has all kinds of other things kind of slowing it down in the background all the time. Its task manager is terrible. This could all add up to being either just Linux being way more efficient or maybe something to do with the bug or coding within Blender, I'm not sure. But take out the BVH calculating phase in both of these renders, going just to purely when you see the image start appearing on the screen, and the times are very similar, only a few seconds faster on Linux than Windows. <laughs> but still, as a whole, four minutes and 56 seconds versus three minutes and 28 seconds. That is a whole lot faster on Linux. Those kind of speed increases, you could spend like $1,000 upgrading your PC system to get that sort of speed increase. Or you could just pick up a cheap hard drive, install Linux on it, throw it in your system as a second boot option, and get that sort of speed increase for nearly free. I mean, that's incredible. That makes me feel like an idiot for using Windows all these years. So then the Fishy Cat GPU benchmark over on Windows was 1 minute and 11 seconds. Whereas over on Linux, this was only one minute and two seconds. But again, I feel like this one was closer because there's a lot less of the calculating BVH before the rendering actually happens in a scene like this. And then this last benchmark kind of corrects that same theory because the BMW scene renders in 38 seconds on Windows and 37 seconds on Linux. And there's practically no building of the BVH for this scene as it's a very small, easy to render scene. So that kind of confirms that the main difference when rendering with the GPU is how long it takes to calculate the scene and kind of process the information before it actually starts rendering it. That currently happens a whole lot faster in Blender 2.8 
on Linux than it does in Windows. So then the last sort of benchmark that it was actually impossible to benchmark, so you're just gonna have to kind of take my word for it, um, selecting things in Windows as it's also a rendering in Cycles was much laggier and took much more time between selecting different objects as it's being rendered than it did in Linux. Linux was much quicker to select an object even though the scene was being rendered in Cycles at the same time. The viewport navigation was smoother, albeit still pretty slow, but it was faster in Linux than it was in Windows, on a very advanced scene like the barbershop. So then to finish off this massive benchmarking video, I went through and I calculated the percentage faster on every one of these benchmarks between Windows and Linux, 100% being twice as fast, and uh, I did this for all 15 benchmarks, all the way down, and then I took all of those percentages and I calculated the average percentage. So as a final conclusion then to this big benchmark battle between Windows and Linux, the average number of all of these percentages combined comes out to 49% faster on Linux than Windows. So that was even faster than I thought it would be. 49% faster on Linux versus Windows with all of these different benchmarks combined doing a large variety of tasks in Blender from sculpting to physics to simulations to rendering to real-time rendering to EV to cycles all of these things combined it comes out 49% faster doing all of these things on average on Linux and you can have Linux for free and not have to deal with all of the crap that you get with Windows I mean it's a no-brainer if you use Blender a lot to at least have a dual boot system for Linux. Now, a lot of you guys might be asking, why is Linux so much faster? And there might be a few factors here, but one of the factors I know for sure is that Windows 10 and its scheduler and its task manager is pretty terrible. It is not very good at using the resources properly. It kind of wastes some of your resources, to be honest. And if you look in your process manager and your tasks running, oftentimes you're gonna find all kinds of random crap that you don't want running on your system, but Windows starts it up anyways. You're gonna find that like Skype is there, you're gonna find that Cortana, Cort Cortana, Cortana, Cortana is running. You're gonna find sometimes like Candy Crush is running because Windows automatically installed it in the background. Not to mention there's lots of talk about Windows possibly sending information back to Microsoft, all this stuff that could be true, I'm not even sure, but you know there's a lot of tasks running in the background on Windows, and Linux is just a lot cleaner. It has what you need, it does what you want it to do, and it doesn't have all of this random garbage in the background. Like I said, I'm using Ubuntu, and I've been loving it. I mean, it's been great. The one aspect that keeps me from switching completely over to Linux is that I still use a few products, a few Adobe products, for example, in my workflow um, that I can't go without yet. Although there is some alternatives, there's like DaVinci Resolve and obviously GIMP, that if I wanted to start working towards it, I might be using completely Linux in my workflow only. So it's possible that I'll be switching completely, but in the meantime, rest assured that I will be using Linux for some of my work as it's going to uh, speed up my workflow quite a bit. And I recommend you guys check it out and see if you can get by using Linux as you're gonna get. It's gonna feel like a new car. I mean, it's gonna be much faster in Blender than Windows, 49% actually. But uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy, and that was what I found. So hopefully this guys shed some light on the difference between Windows and Linux. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you had a question, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye-bye.